Good morning everyone. So I thought today I would film a little morning routine video for you all because this is another highly requested video. <laughs> My mum's out today, so I'm doing it all on my own, so I can come on here and pretend that I do all the animals all on my own, all the time. In the winter, I tend to wake up and kind of get out and do the animals a little bit later. I tend to wake up, take it a bit slower, have some breakfast, and then go out and do the animals after, um, because the birds don't need letting out and stuff, so there's kind of no point rushing, whereas obviously in the summer, the birds are all let out to free range, so... In the summer, I will usually, I might do a summer morning routine as well at some point, obviously, in the summer. I will usually wake up, chuck my overalls on over my pyjamas and go straight out and do the animals. And then I'll come back in and get dressed and have breakfast and stuff. But for now, I'm taking it a bit slower. It's quite late um, and I need to go out and feed some animals. I figured the best way to do this video would be to just film everything I was doing throughout the morning and then to add a voiceover. So I'm just going to explain everything I'm doing basically. So the first animals are, that I always do are the ducks and chickens and that's basically because they're just the closest to the house. So most of our ducks and chickens live in these old dog kennels that were here when we moved in. So I just get their feeders out of the bin that is next to the kennels and I take them to the right kennels. So the ducks go out in this run during the day so that they can have access to a pond, which is very dirty at the moment. That does get refreshed later. They always get so excited to come out and have their breakfast. It's adorable. Then I empty out their water bucket because it's always really gross. And then I go in to feed Little Man. If you don't know who Little Man is, he is our little rescue bantam cockerel. He is currently living on his own. We are hoping to get him some hens when the avian flu lockdown lifts. So then I go and feed our ex-commercial hens. And finally, our little Belgium chickens. And then I realised that they had run out of water, so I went and grabbed the watering can out of the duck's pen. Also a delivery van arrived at the gate at this time, so just ignore that. And I went and grabbed the watering can and filled it up, ready to fill up the chicken's water. I apologise if Winky is making loads of noise in the background of this video because she is making a right racket today. <laughs> so I filled up the little chicken's water and then decided to use the rest of it to top up the big chicken's water. They still had plenty of water but while I had a watering can full of water it just made sense. I just said water so many times. I then went to check for eggs, but the chickens were actually still sat on their eggs, so I decided to leave them and grab them later. I then went to change the duck's pond. This gets so gross so quickly, it's actually insane. So I just splash it around to get the worst of the mud out. To be honest, there is no point trying to clean it really well, because the ducks are just disgusting. <laughs> I'm gonna be completely honest. I then went and grabbed the duck eggs. They are laying so lovely at the moment. As you can see, I had, I think I had four eggs and we have five female, uh, female ducks. So that's pretty good going. I then went over to feed our little rescue cockerels. These ones are currently living in my rabbit shed while Winky is indoors. So I just chuck them some food and then top up their water. These guys are actually really nervous, but they're getting more confident. And then I head round to feed the rest of our rescue cockerels. If you don't know, these cockerels have all unfortunately been dumped on our small holdings, thrown over our eight foot fence, <laughs> just me wrestling through the sheep. Uh, so they are currently living in some old chicken runs that we had, luckily, to throw them in for now. 
they are all up for rehoming unfortunately we cannot keep all of them three of them at the time of editing have been rehomed now which is so good at this point my pivo just decided to forget about me and just film the sheep so that was fun <laughs> i had a right old nightmare trying to film this and there's me trying to get it back it always scares me when I open the door and the cockles all just come flying at my face. <laughs> so I throw the food down, which they obviously get very excited about. <laughs> the bucket was obviously wet because there's loads of food stuck in the bottom, which really stresses me out. I don't know why. It's one of those things really irritates me when I've put food in a wet bucket and it all gets stuck to the bucket. Really irrational, I know. So now it is time to refill the duck's pond, which I empty out, emptied out a minute ago. They're usually terrified of the hose and then realise that water comes out of the hose and then they love it. So I decided to set up a little time lapse of them playing in the pond while it was filling up because it's just so cute. And they actually knocked the hose out, which I'm annoyed about because I went off to do something else while it was filling up and I just looked back and there was water everywhere. Uh, so I went and had to put that back in. You can see they all jumped straight in and you'll probably see that the water got quite dirty almost immediately. And then I put the hose back before heading over to do the geese. So I chucked the hose on to take down to the geese. So the geese are actually quite far away from the rest of the birds. So I just attach the hose and it runs right down to the geese, which is handy. So you don't actually get to see the geese very much in this footage, but I just lifted the water out of their pens, empty out the water, give it a splash about to give it a good old rinse. We give it a good rinse and change their water daily because like the ducks, the geese like to make their water disgusting. So then I chuck the hose in. And while it's filling up, I went over to the other goose goose pen. If you don't know, we have to keep our geese separately because we too, do have two males. Now, this might look a bit odd. I pick up a broom and wedge it. So it is currently coming into mating season and the geese have started laying eggs, which means the males and the females actually get quite aggressive. So while I'm doing the water, especially on this side, because Noddy is particularly aggressive, as you will see in a minute, um, I wedge a broom up just to stop them being able to get too close to me while I'm reaching in, otherwise I will be attacked. Anyway, so while I was waiting for that to fill up, I checked to see if there was, um, if they had any food left, which they didn't, so I just filled up this bucket, put the hose in the other bucket, and then went back to the feed room to grab them some food. Excuse the mess that is our food bin, it's due a clean. Anyway, let's get the goose's food. So I grabbed them some layers of corn. We're trying not to give them too much food at once at the moment because they're not eating very much. And obviously we don't want to attract rats. So we're just giving them a little bit between them at a time and then just topping it up as we go, as and when they need it. So the bucket was overflowing by the time I got back, <laughs> which isn't great. Um, and now I had the very, very scary task of leaning into the goose pen to put the water back and then actually going into the goose pen to feed them. So you can't actually tell in this video, but the pens are separated by a little fence down the middle. So luckily I, I can go into the side with Cooper and his two girls. He is not quite as aggressive as, as Noddy. Uh, but he is still fairly aggressive, um, so I don't have to go in with Noddy to feed them, luckily. But I did have to go in with Cooper, so I took my trusty broom. Um, I don't, like, hit them with the broom or anything. I don't want anyone to think I'm using... There's me just saluting because I'm going in to risk my life. Um, I don't want anyone to think I'm, like, aggressive with them with the broom. It's just a self-defence situation. <laughs> This didn't quite go to plan so i did have to go in to check for eggs this is extremely scary i'm not gonna lie because they don't like you taking their eggs so i went in with my broom and then this happened 
Süper. Of süper. Bloody hurt. Goose. I raised him from an egg. Ow, that really hurt. That really yes, hurt. so I was bitten by Noddy. I've been bitten by him before, but I think this was the worst he has ever bitten me. Just wanted to show you guys the war wound. That's what Noddy's just done to me. Before I go over to feed the sheep, I just wanted to explain why the ponies aren't really going to be featured in this morning routine. Hello. Because apart from coming over to give them a quick cuddle, check they've got water um, and check they've got plenty of hay they don't really we don't really do anything in particular with them in the morning to be honest they usually get given their hay sort of mid-afternoon um, mid to late afternoon and that lasts them like 24 hours and it's <laughs> really like i have to be central protection please we share the morning with them i think they think they need to be part of the morning routine um and ted and pip get their hard feed so, there's not really, uh, um, again, don't knock, don't knock my phone over, Bobby. So yeah, that's why they're not really going to feature, but I need to go feed the sheep now. And after saying all that, I noticed that Ted and Pip's water is virtually empty, so I'll be filling that up, and then I'll go and do the, do the sheep. So the ponies are going to feature in the morning routine. Okay, I'm back with the voiceover. It's now time to go and feed the sheep. So I went in my lovely pink feed bin with my pink scoop. I absolutely love these bins. <laughs> and I grabbed the sheep food and then took it over to them. And they have been shouting all morning because they knew, they knew this was coming. <laughs> Now I have the risky task of trying to step over the electric fence. I always get nervous. And then I like to just sprinkle this around on the floor, partly because it means I don't have to give them three separate buckets and also it just lasts them a bit longer. It's a bit of enrichment because they have to kind of forage around for it. And it's just, I just think it's much more natural than giving it to them in a bucket. Also, has anyone noticed how my hair has gotten more and more disheveled throughout this video? Just you wait for the outro. It really does look like a bird's nest. Guys, so I'm going to end this video here because that is everything that we do every single morning. We do keep it quite minimal, to be honest, especially at this time of year. We try and keep it as simple as possible. Often in the summer, there'll be more things that I do. Things like sweeping the yard and... I'm trying to think of other examples now, but I feel like my morning routine is always longer in the summer because it's just so much more enjoyable to be outside, although the weather today is very, very nice. Anyway, enough of my rambling. I just need to go and turn off the ponies' water because that is filling up and it's probably about to start overflowing. But other than that, I'm done. So I'm going to leave this video here. I hope you guys have enjoyed joining me for a morning. I've also been using my Pivo for this video, so... It's been a little bit ropey at times. A few times I've turned around this point and off at the other angle. So we'll see how that went. Might have to do some editing magic. But yes, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and like this for a evening routine. If I get enough likes on this video, I will make you an evening routine video. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Remember to like, comment down below any ideas for videos that you have and subscribe. Bye guys. Why did I do that? I'm not in like 2014 YouTube. What the hell? Why did I just put my hand over the camera lens? Oh dear. Guys, look. It's Mr. Magpie's YouTube debut. Oh my god, he's got a pigeon friend. If you haven't been following my stories on Instagram, I mean, why not? You're missing out. Mr. Magpie has become a friend on the farm and he comes and steals the ponies and the sheep's food every single day without fail. He will stand and watch us making up their feeds. But he seems to have a pigeon friend now. Interesting. Just to clarify, Winky and Spud have been fed this morning. I just fed them before I started filming, so.
they have been fed and the dogs are always fed by my dad so they're not starving don't worry 